Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a close look at the black mask within Affinity Photo. What we're going to do with the black mask is we're going to change this lion's eye colour. I found this image online on a Google search that is up for people to reuse it. Well, that getting said, we'll get straight into it. The first thing we need to do to show you how the black mask works is to lighten the photo up and well that we can do that by clicking on adjustments and going to curves when we click on the line and drag it up it puts the light into your photo it is really high right now but for now that will do before we add our black mask we need to put this into a group so to put it into a group make sure your curves is highlighted and click Control and G that will put it into its own group now we need to add a mask if you go down and click mask it will give it a white mask and it will make no difference whatsoever to the curves what we've just done but if you click alt and then click mask it will hide I think that we've done within that group for us to get the curves back because the black mask is hide, hiding the curves we need to go to our brush tool you can either come over to the toolbar on the left hand side and click on the brush or just click B you need to make sure your white is highlighted and then as you see go over you can see the white and it shows the light through but for us we're just going to paint the eyes doesn't have to be perfect for this and just nice and easy paint in the eyes as you can see the eye colors come through for us to change the eye color now we need to come back onto the adjustments and click the hue settings the HSL and we can do that by dragging the hue up but as you can see when we drag it up it changes the whole photo the reason why because it's set it outside of our folder so the mask isn't affecting the hue settings so what we need to do is drag that in and just put it underneath the mask and now it will only affect the eyes because the mask is hiding everything else what we do I'm just going to drag the hue up and as you can see we've changed the color of the eyes I'm going to leave that there to make it pop you can add more saturation and just move that up a bit if you don't want that much saturation you can turn it down but for me I'm going to stay there because it's not a bad colour and then just close that off remember when we first started with the curves we set it really high I'm now going to double click on the curves adjustment and I'm just going to fetch that back down so it makes the eyes a little bit darker and close that off because we use the black mask it's hid everything we've done and it's just showing the eyes so everything we do within the group will just affect the eyes because we painted white to show through the black mask and pretty much that's all the black mask does it hides everything like with the white it reveals black it hides and that's the same with the masks the white mask and the black mask this one was only for the black mask I probably will do a video later on covering the whole range of masks a more in-depth look but for now I'm gonna leave it here thank you for watching if you did like this video and it helped you please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching and I hope to see, see you next time